know what I've been up since four o'clock this morning. I am currently cooking some hash browns for a quick breakfast and then I need to get moving. Uh, gonna skip showers this morning because we're planning a bath this afternoon and we have got not one but two walks planned for today. <laughs> Let's hope this isn't too much for it. I think it'll be okay. Our first walk is a nature walk. It's a guided nature walk at 10 o'clock. That's what we're gonna time crunch for. And then this afternoon we've got a reindeer walk, which goes for two and a half hours, but apparently it's a one hour walking time. I think it'll be fine. I don't think either of the walks are going to be fast paced. I think they'll both be more relaxing strolls, stopping and looking at things along the way. So this, this morning is a wildlife refuge for all the birds that fly up from wherever they've flown from and come up to Alaska for the summer. So you should see lots of birds, which would be nice for me. Anyway, I thought it'd be something different for us to do. That's what we're we'll trying to do, lots of different activities this trip. So yeah, another first, <laughs> a nature walk. And the other one will obviously be a nature walk too, but it's a walk through the forest with the reindeers this afternoon. And in between, we are going to go to the creperie for, well, I guess it's my lunch, Kevin's brunch, because he hasn't, he's not eating yet. So <laughs> we'll um, have that. It's supposed to be very good. And Kevin loves crepes, so, and they have some vegan ones too. So good for both of us. So that's today's plans. <laughs> Well, we are now out the door. Well, I'm out the door, still waiting on Kevin. Well, we're shortly both out the door and on our way to Creamer's Field, I believe it's called. I think it's an old creamery. Is that the same as a dairy, milky dairy place? I don't know. Anyway, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> He's trying to find his sunglasses. Did you find them? On, the, on your head now. <laughs> All right. ginger in my driveway. Yeah. Now we're off. Walk. And so they're gonna flower, like you can see the nice pink flower, and then the petals fall off. And then this part gets like this gushy, like jelly. And then, uh, so it'll be, it'll be like a month. And then you just pull like this.
I'm saying there's like horse tails, that's what they're called, and they're like from dinosaur times, but bigger ones in the dinosaur times. Roses are very pretty. Oh, rose hips, I think she called them as well. Another side of Alaska.
Oh, back to the start now. Oh, I enjoyed that. I'm not sure about Kevin. <laughs> I didn't get to see many birds, but we have to have a look at them now. Oh. Oh, this is uh, from the snow puppies. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, it's sad. Look at these things. Still yeah. still there he is. a lot of birds on our tour as you saw but there's cranes over here we just saw some flying in apparently what peak season this field will be full of cranes they're not as big as I thought I guess I'm thinking of what we have in Australia which I think are bigger than those This is all the stuff you can see at times. Then we saw some ducks. We saw a... We saw a red robin, American robin, which we got at our place anyway, and we saw the nest of one of those common red poles. I think that's about it. I think we heard a crow. <laughs> and here's some information about the creamery. Well, it was a dairy. Their name was Creamer. It was surname. That's where the creamers come from. I assumed it was to do with being a creamery, but no, it's a dairy. Creamer's dairy. Oh, what an appropriate name. Okay, bye little birdies. Or big birdies. I'm back out the car again because they're close to here. Downtown Fairbanks. idea. I was very confused. So we were parked over here and then we realised that it was a tow zone so we moved and we got stopped parking just around there. Just round over there for two hours so that'd be fine.
There you go. <laughs> and both those just pick up like sandwiches. Okay. Thank Ooh. you. <laughs> she's very bouncy, isn't she? <laughs> no way, she's a bouncy girl. Bit, um... So I've got the very veggie, I think it was. It's a vegan one. And it's got vegan cream cheese and vegetables on it, and I asked for no olives. And Kevin got pear and brie. Not more brie, less brie, more pear. <laughs> That's what I asked for. <laughs> yeah, it was just brie and pear. So it's just pear with a little bit yeah, of. Yeah, I can see brie pear, there. Which is good. I'm going into Big Ray's. See if Kevin can find a face net for the fly, for the not the flies here, for the mozzies here. Well, Kevin's got his mozzie stuff, so he's ready for the mozzies. I'm a bit perplexed by this skirt. Maybe someone can explain it to me. It's like a thermal skirt. Is there something more to it than this? I feel like there should be. It's a heated vest if you want a heated vest. You just plug in a USB power. <laughs> kind of thing. Well, I'm thinking here in the winter you might need that. I'm just confused what those are for. I want to be here because there's another little skirt. Yeah. I... Just keep just your bottom one. I guess if you want to wear a skirt, then that's what you wear. I don't know. How cute. Little waders. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. Little ski suits, yes, we get. Little waders. to the reindeer place. Unfortunately, Kevin didn't enjoy his lunch. No. But I think he just chose badly. I should have <laughs> chosen all pear. Yeah, found the cheese very strong. Anyway, they had a whole big menu, as you saw. I really enjoyed mine. It was really lovely. I like, especially, I don't could tell you the last time I got to have a vegan grape or a grape, so it was, mine was really nice. I enjoyed it very much. Kevin, not so much. And Some the child the thing. Ever were at Epcot before they moved to their new place, and now they're not good anymore. Have you got them from the? So you got them from the new place? Yeah, but oh, that's okay. on, on our last trip, but it was it was nothing. That was like a crepe as I just well. Like special lemon crepe and place. sugar. Yeah. Boring. They always. I don't know. Up. Is lemon and sugar made not a big thing in America? Everybody wants to put things on. Let us know. Is, it a big, is that a thing here or not a thing? I don't know. Uh, all the big menus, there was no option of lemon and sugar. <laughs> which is I remember what wanted. on the street in. France, you could you get lemon and sugar, yeah. but you get Nutella as well. Yeah. And they had the big, massive five kilo things of Nutella. Which well, like lemon and sugar, the pretty big thing in Australia for all crepes, yeah. isn't it? That's pretty not like the even the pancakes normal. at home. You just have lemon and sugar, and a lot, a lot of which yeah. a lot of people have. We always like that. We don't often. We do the fruit stuff, but I think most people don't. Yeah, we've got when to have. When I was a kid, we never did pancakes. fruit on pancakes. Just lemon and sugar was all. That's all the world was made to have, and people have ruined it. Well, you watched, oh, okay, we're moving on. Not, yeah, not infinity. Um, yeah, you did this chai latte with a strong, I tried it and it was oh, too, it was too long. What milk did you get it made on? Did you get it made on oat? I don't know, probably not. Oh, yeah, well, that might be why. Well, I didn't drink any of it there. <laughs> I don't think you did actually now. That's probably why it was so rich as well, because oat milk's a lot lighter. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> Kevin's was a nil out of two. Mine was one out of one, so it does get good reviews, the place, though, so... Just ch choose wisely, I guess. <laughs> sunscreen on. <laughs> Thank you. 
also the most likely too to get the zoomies and start running around. So if he starts running today, you know what to say, right? Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Love that. Yeah. That's Forrest. And now they have a baby brother. I'll let Zach Carl, he would spice things up and he'd walk right behind him and then he'd just goose him right in the butt uh, with those antlers. So it was funny at first, he became a little defensive uh, as he got bigger. So he dropped his calf antlers, which was good for us. We were happy to see that. And then he drew his first set of yearling antlers. And Tyrone told him those up right now. Bam. Wow. So yeah, pretty big change uh, over the course of a year. So we were nervous of uh, what Carl would use those antlers, uh, how he would use those antlers. And luckily he outgrew that goose and crazy. When we do yoga here. <laughs> so, um, and, um, what Juniper likes to do during yoga is go out, check out everybody's yoga mat, find the one she loves the most, go back to that one, it's almost always a purple one, goes back to that one, gets the owner off, and lays down on the mat. <laughs> so, she's really, really a sweet, sweet reindeer, and a really excellent mom. That's Leroy. Uh, Leroy and Rounding them up. They don't have a sheepdog, they have a person. They don't have a sheepdog, they've got a person. Oh, the baby looks hot, doesn't he? Huh? Oh, no, he looks hot. <laughs> Hello, little baby. Hello. Block on the path. Hello. What you do it. Watch your way. I've got a pat. There's a puppy. Hello. So that gets me a puppy. Oh my god, the fluff. <laughs> Are you taking home half the <laughs> half the <laughs> They're shedding. I oh, know. <laughs> a birdie would like that probably. That's yeah, it would be <laughs> Everyone's collecting. We'll give Carl a little runway here. We'll go ahead and bring him down so that uh, he can. Uh, you can listen for this clicking noise. You guys might be familiar with the reference to this sound in that song. Up on the rooftop, click, click, click. click. Yeah, there's a reason for that rhyme. It refers to the clicking noise they make when they walk, not hooves on rooftops, like I always thought. And so it 
it grows here, and then there's another one here, and there's another one here, and there's another one here. And they're out of the water. But in between is all of this mucky, sopping wet water down there. So when when you are looking at it, you're like, ooh, I'm gonna stay on top of these tussocks. And you take your step, and then what you find is your ankle there. And you fall down, and you twist your ankle. So the first rule is, everybody knows you cannot walk on top of those tussocks. You have to get down there. Well then, you're getting stuck in there, and you have to lift the leg over the tussock, and then do, I mean, it is really very, very difficult terrain to move across. But by having that high step, without effort, they can just walk right through to get down there. Well then, you're getting stuck in there, and you have to lift your leg over the tussocks, and then do, I mean, it is really very, very difficult terrain to move across. But by having that high step, to the face of a wolf or a bear, so they get picked off quite easily. Um, this is Heather. <laughs> so, so um, reindeer, they are much shorter, squatter, more barreled body. They're like a sausage on sticks. They're livestock animals. They've been selectively bred to be served on your dinner table. <coughs> My reindeer were all lucky to have been born into a vegetarian household. <laughs> so reindeer cannot run as fast as a caribou. They must be protected from predators by people. So they've come up with a temporary method to pull it together until people can come and save the day. What they do is they start running but then they pull into a single file line. The fastest ones will make their way up front. And then they do a technique we call reindeer rounding. They come back on the herd and start spinning around, like little cinnamon roll, right? So all the fast ones then are kind of tucked in the middle. The slower, weaker ones are spinning around the outside. Unfortunately, those are the ones that get picked off by the predators. <laughs> So they're just waiting for humans to come and save the day for them. <laughs> um, if any of you have seen sometimes may uh, 20 30 40 50 below all right we had a cold snap this year uh, last week of February first week of March it was between 30 and 50 below for two weeks straight so little micro pockets vary in each piece well when their bodies are covered with a thick dense layer of that they have 15,000 hairs per square inch so when their bodies are covered with this thick layer of that hollow hair it creates this really thick layer of insulation of dead airspace I like to compare it to the puppy dead airspace it traps the heat inside that's why we stay warm in those puffers well, they've got that whole system built in, naturally. Yeah, because they have so, to put on a nice thick layer of subcutaneous fat all over the outside of their body. One they're very sticking out, uh, you know, I was like, oh, I can't do the tour. And uh, she was born at 202. Um, and uh, I was right there with her, you know, immediately there she goes. <laughs> yeah, within an hour or two. Okay, you guys. Um, Suzanne is laying down, and what I would say, if you want...
Yeah. Oh. Come back. Come in the water. I think all the silly smell. It's the water cold. Probably cool off for the Yeah. Yeah, the two babies are in there, aren't they? In the pool, in the pond. And they're the hottest ones. Oh. <laughs> I'm down here. I kind of want to get you. Uh, what you're talking about. <laughs> see how they boss Rosita? Do you see that? <laughs> Stop and give it a look. <laughs> All right. So these guys love water. We finished our reindeer walk. That was so fun. Very special. <laughs> And getting to go for a walk with all the reindeers that was yeah really really fun i enjoyed that and the mozzies weren't too bad to ride at the end so that was okay kevin didn't even use fly net that he bought because <laughs> they weren't too bad but we've got more things that might have bad mozzies as you end up running away at the end because i'm attacking my legs whereas before i haven't really had reaction to these mozzies i don't think i've reacted to them either so i'm not allergic to alaska mosquitoes which is good very handy Anyway, I don't know if you can see behind me where we are. We're just at Safeway. Kevin's just gone in to get some oatly milk. We're out of it, or nearly out of it. And he wanted to get a power board or something. My feet are just so sore. <laughs> um, mainly because we had to stand like, on, a, on a side of a hill and it's my feet were killing me from just the positioning. Oh, I've got bad feet. <laughs> so I can't do a segue because we're standing on a segue. I think it was standing still. I'm going to standing on an angle. Just kind of standing still, just did them in. So very sore. So I whipped off my boots now, just taking them off. And yeah, much better without my shoes on. If I had my other shoes, I probably could have gone in. Like I know you stuck my like slip on shoes in, and I could have gone in with him, but he'll be quick without me. And we can go home, have a nice bath, because I think I might little be a little bit sore after all the walking we've done today. Doing a lot more than usual when it was uphill at the, <laughs> at the reindeer farm. Probably not as bad as when we did our walk near the snow the other day though so it's okay tomorrow shouldn't involve so much walking <laughs> but yeah been good one more day in one more day in Fairbanks and then we've got our drive back down to Talkeetna so we're still you know only still only one week into or just over one week into a four week trip so still got time to go mandarin chicken courtesy of Kevin again tonight fake chicken but so I'm an excellent <laughs> an assembler you're very good at this dinner anyway you make it really nice or well, cook it really nice I'll say Oh look, I'm a vlogger. Really? All right, I'm just I'm pretending to be wife. Um, and we bought this in the supermarket. It's a Jiffy Pop. Now, I've never done one before, but it's like pop. I just put it over the gas flame. It's got a little hole in the middle. The seam comes out. But when the paper came off, it made a little hole in the side too. So it may explode popcorn everywhere. And yes, I called it popcorn with an M because that's what our kids called it when they were little. Right, I'm vlogging again now. 
because mm -hmm. I'm a professional vlogger. And look, that's the Jiffy Pop. I don't think all of it popped, but it seemed to stop and I didn't want to burn it. I could smell a little bit of burning, so I stopped it. And then you just tear open the stuff, burn your fingers on the steam, and then eat popcorn that's probably not as nice as the packet one. Yeah. But wife, try some. I need your verdict. It's got real butter in it. But... I don't think it's real butter. Oh, it said butter. It's, I think it's butter-like material. Like the um, butter popcorn at Disney and stuff. It's all right. All right take a bigger lot. I don't like all the packaging. Oh, so that's <laughs> foil. I know. So you think it's all right? That's good. Not bad. So that's a, that's a, that's a, how many out of five? How many Libby's does it get? Oh, my God. Probably three and a half. Three and a half libbies. Mmm. What? Nothing. That's <laughs> it's a good score. <laughs>